I am. <laughs> this video really pisses me off. Pardon my language, but what the f is wrong with you? How do you not know better than to do this to somebody? I had to cover that poor woman that you were filming completely nude in the locker room at this spa. You and your friends sit there arrogantly laughing at her and enjoying this free show, as you call it. And you even tagged the location of this spa. Well, you're not going to be laughing for very long because I talked to them. You are permanently banned from going there. And they're going to try to find this woman and contact the authorities to investigate this. And I really hope she presses charges. I hope that too. Lock them up and throw away the key. Lock them up so they'll have plenty of time to complain about men, to talk to each other how they'll choose a bear over a man when that's their behavior. When that's their behavior towards another woman. <laughs> I am... <laughs> Just want to give an update from this video the other day where a woman films another woman completely nude in the locker room at this spa while her and her friends laugh at her, then post it to social media. Well, I talked to this spa once again, Champneys. They identified these three women and permanently banned them from any facility as well as filed the police report. So it looks like charges are going to be pressed. Love to see it. And the woman that took this video, she messaged me too. Not to be accountable, not to apologize, but to tell me to immediately remove this video. My response, no. You need to do better. Mind your own business. I don't get too many views, but for what it's worth, I'm doing my part. I show them in this video to you guys, hoping they do get the fame they were after. I saw a TikTok this morning that said men's anger is destructive and women's anger is alchemical. I don't have any original thoughts about that right in this moment, but I can't get it out of my mind. The matriarchy is upon us. Did you notice how I did the dishes? Yeah. It's very demure. Demure? Yeah. I don't think- I'm not messy like you, I'm very mindful. I'm very mindful, I'm very cutesy, I'm very demure. Yeah, I don't think that you're using the word the right way. <laughs> It's demure. Do you see how I chose to do no contact with you? Very demure. Do you see how my self-respect is intact right now? Very considerate of my self-respect. Very mindful of the situation. Very mindful of myself. See, I don't do that. I know how to be demure. See how my boyfriend gives me his annex before I go to drinks with the girls? Very cutesy. Very demure. Very respectful. Now when a man asks to buy me a drink, I can say, no, no, no. I have my boyfriend's car. Again, very cutesy, very demure. This one can't even say the word right. Probably not, but in case you were wondering what we told this demure stuff, well, I hate to say it, it's not much. Gen Z, because who, of course, who else invented a new word? Demure and TikTok jumped on it, because who else? Who else was going to prove their IQ level if not TikTok? You've been on social media at all this week. You've seen the screenshots of the article in the psychology magazine saying that men are lonely in record numbers, single men. I can't speak for all women, but I can speak for myself and what I believe to be happening. We are done with men who treat us like sh That would be understandable. Who's we? Call me crazy, but when I only speak about myself as I usually do, I say words like, I am this, I am that, I am done. There is no we when I only speak about myself. This is an older video. It was, I guess, posted after that article was published in Psychology Today, trying to convince us all that single men cannot be just single. They have to be lonely. While, of course, in return, women are happier being single. That's the only reason why years later they keep resurfacing these videos. We are done with men who lie to us. We are done with men who manipulate us, who gaslight us, whose words don't match their actions. We are done with men who think that we should be their mothers, like that video going around of where are all the women who want to make lunches and rub our backs. We're not your parents. We are done with men saying that they don't want to take care of us, that they want a strong woman. So we go out and have this great career and become successful. And then you're threatened by our success.
I was never the one telling you that you need to have a career. That was the lie your sister who sold you and you bought into it. I could not care less if you stayed at home or had a regular job or a career. We are done with men who are not emotionally available, who take every single comment that we make as argumentative. We are done with men saying that we are too emotional, labeling us as crazy. We are done with men that we can't actually express our feelings to because you flip the script and say that everything was our fault that we are the problems. We are done with men who continue to spread lies about us to make themselves look better. We are done with men who create this toxic environment in the home and then we're the problem when we leave. We are done with men treating us like second-class citizens. We are not the trash that you take out at the end of the week. We are done with you telling us how much you love us and that we are your ride or die, as much as I hate that statement. And then a week later, you're off with someone else. We are done with the men who are cheating on us and think it's perfectly acceptable. We are done with men ghosting us. We are done with the silent treatment. It's abuse. We are done with the fact that you can't just simply say you're not the right fit for me. And after a first or second date, you just never respond again. We are done with your childish behavior. We are done with you having to be the center of attention all the time. We are done with being lonely in the relationship. We have all been in relationships, long-term relationships, where we as women feel so lonely because no matter what we do, it's never enough. We are done with you saying you're not the person that you were anymore. No, the abuse has changed us. We are done constantly being made to feel like we are compared to every other woman on, our, on the planet, whether we're as pretty as they are, whether we're as in great a shape as they are. We're just done. We are done being made to feel less by you. We are waiting and wondering, when is it your turn to level up? We've done the work. We've been in therapy. We are trying to figure out how to be better women. And you're just out there wondering why we won't accept you as you are. When's it your turn to level up? When are you going to become emotionally available men so that we want to be with you? And I'm so sorry if you feel lonely. I, again, because, you know, there is no way when I speak only about myself, am not lonely. And the only reason I can listen to you and laugh at the same time is because I am leveled up. You want me to go to therapy to level up? Look at what years of therapy did to you. I don't need to spend years in therapy to try to change everything about myself just so I can put up with you. Just to keep this short, because you did took a lot of my time, I'm good with you being done. Does the perfect man exist? I don't know yet. I have a man right now that spoils me, but I don't want to date him. Why not? He's 5'6". I don't even want to touch him, so... Oh, okay. So yeah, he's just buying me like Cartier, and I'm like, thank you. Oh, you're married? I am married. Well, let's say you wanted your wife to deactivate her social media. I want her to. I currently want her to. You told her to? What? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. She's fighting you on it? I'd say she's a product of what this conversation is about. She has an Instagram. She feels that she can find something that will do better for her. And that's not true because I know I'm a good person. I'm a genuine person. And she's looking for an upgrade and uh, she won't get one. W would you would you prefer if she was more compliant with you, more submissive to what you're saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Our, our relationship would be tremendously better. Absolutely. Do you think men value respect more or love more from their woman? Respect. Happy. Well, you said your wife has you blocked on IG? Yeah, she's got me blocked. That's How does that make you feel? Is. Insignificant. Why do, you, why, why do you think she did that? So that I can see what she's got going on on her page, what she's promoting on her page. She's taking a bunch of selfies, if she's looking for attention. Wow. Do you think that when women post their self on social media, it's, you know, to get validation elsewhere? Absolutely. Absolutely. Is there a solution? Is there, a, like, what's the next step? There's no solution if she's not willing to play and make a team effort to make the relationship better. It's a constant battle to find peace, which is all that I want. Peace, peace and respect. So don't know if that'll happen or not. It will not. The only thing that made sense in this video was listening to the one in the background saying that's not your wife then. She blocked you on Instagram. You know she's posting to get some other man's attention. What is it you want or expect from that relationship? Because it doesn't even matter what it is. Pretty obvious you're not gonna get it. As hard as it may be, it's time for you to walk away and find someone who would actually want to be with you. You needed your bathroom painted and the app was like... Oh my god. <laughs>
would you like to hire a female to do this job? And you're like, I would. And she showed up with one paintbrush and no paint. I pretty much paid her like $700 to prime my bathroom. Oh, wait, I remember. Remember, that. she brought yes. one paintbrush. And I was like, I have a roller. She's like, oh, it's not my technique. And I then you're like, get me a man in here immediately. <laughs> Preferably someone who speaks Spanish and gets it done in a day. Seriously. And he came in and did it in an hour and a half. He was like, it's good. I did three coats.